Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube Astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about, or actually I'm going to be giving you my Capricorn October 2017 horoscope forecast, and yes this does apply and pertain to the Sun, Moon, and Ascend. Well anyway people, first thing is, well as far as October goes, the Sun will be in Libra from the 1st to the 23rd, and of course the 10th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Capricorn. So this could be, uh, Capricorn may have a strong focus connected with career vocational matters, perhaps uh, notoriety, recognition, uh, even uh, authority figures, and even uh, the dominant parent, which is usually the father. And there might be a very uh, balanced outlook on this and doing, I should say, maybe doing, uh, having this focused in a very balanced manner, doing a little bit maybe uh, with, the, with the notoriety recognition. So, and then uh, maybe a little bit more focus on other 10th house matters, such as authority figures. There might be a need to shine in the career, and it could be something Libra, t something tied in with the sign Libra, such as uh, the law, uh, legalities. It could be uh, doing something as an attorney, as a paralegal, getting some kind of recognition and accolades for it, uh, doing something on a, with, uh, by collaborating with, with somebody, something connected with art and beauty. The sun, as far as October goes, will be in Scorpio from the 23rd to the 31st, and the 11th house is what will be highlighted and emphasized for Capricorn. So this could be a time where Capricorn may want uh, to shine perhaps in matters with friends, acquaintances, their goals, aspirations. It could be that given that this is the, um, I mean, the 11th house, and this is about our goals and aspirations and we're talking about Scorpio well perhaps there there's aspirations and goals associated with something Scorpio like at this time it might be something connected with investigation psychology astrology the occult supernatural uh, subjects and uh, and he might even be studying on things matters connected with death such as maybe being like a, maybe a mortician for example so or, or doing something, uh, or, or, or maybe being a coroner could be another example. Anyway, well, the full moon will be in Aries on October 4th, and this, of course, um, the fourth house will be emphasized and highlighted for Capricorn. This could be a time where maybe Capricorn becomes full of something, so to speak, connected with uh, a family member or a contentious or combative situation with somebody in the family or someone they feel close to home with comes to an end. It could be something where, uh, I mean, the fourth house is also about the end of life. And, and this is about a time where maybe uh, maybe there, there's the plans that are that should be uh, connected uh, with the with the end of life are, are not there or there or maybe there's a completion of this and done in a, in a very quick and abrupt Aries manner because this is about a lot of times the full moon is about an ending of something something that might have been long and painstaking might might finally be coming to a conclusion and it could be also it could be the development of a home as well at this time might be coming to an abrupt uh, end, an Aries-like abrupt end, uh, so to speak. So, and uh, really, this could also be a time where there really, where, where there might be maybe there's some maybe a, a abrupt or real quick abrupt unveiling of something, and maybe uh, it could be something in the home or, or maybe a situation that was contentious and might be really uh, let out of the bag, so to speak, at this time. Uh, so anyway, now um, the new moon will be in Libra on October 19th. And of course, the 10th house is what will be highlighted and emphasized for Capricorn. This could be a time where perhaps something new may happen career-wise, which might be uh, connected maybe with a relationship, something that Capricorn might do with somebody else, something where they're collaborating with someone. It could be something of an artistic endeavor, perhaps, or maybe just finding something where in their career where, they're, where it's very peaceful and very tranquil. It could also be, I mean, the 10th house is also about uh, reputation. So it could be a time for Capricorn that they want to maybe show 
that maybe as far as a reputation goes that they they're at peace with it and they they want to start something where they they get a reputation for being equitable fair-minded and and really just and and so and also um really and also maybe something else libra like such as charming tactful diplomatic so anyway also um well mercury um as far as october goes will be in libra from the first to the 17th and of course the 10th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for capricorn so during this time there might be a lot of um communication more so than usual with the the dominant parent which is generally the father uh it could be uh over career matters and it could be with an authority figure um which could be a supervisor uh perhaps even with people connected with the government and this could be in, in done these people the, this communication can come out in a very tactful charming and diplomatic like a uh, libra manner doing talking in a way where they don't where we really it, it could be about bouncing I, a lot of ideas off people and authority with government people um uh, maybe with the dominant parent as well which is generally uh the father and there might be a, a conversations connected with the career and reputation really might might dominate a capricorn at this time as far as communications go so anyway well as far as october goes mercury will be in scorpio from the 17th to the 31st and the 11th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for capricorn so there can be a lot of incisive uh intense communications with friends with acquaintances it could be about getting uh digging deep as far as friends go and, and really trying to see beyond the superficial with them being very probing and, and investigated get investigated with them as well making sure there's no subterfuge from them and that there's no ulterior motives it could also be communications with them regarding a scorpio like things such as investigation astrology the occult supernatural subjects even death and there can also be more conversation and communications regarding capricorn's aspirations and goals and being in scorpio they could be very deep as far as those communications go now anyway uh the, as far as october goes venus will be in virgo from the first to the 14th and the ninth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for capricorn so there could be uh this could be a lot of enjoyment perhaps and things connected with travel with um could even be higher education but this could be also done being that it's virgo in a very hard working manner with with a lot of diligence and done with a lot of caution and discretion and done very with a lot of planning virgo is an earth sign this could be done also by uh in a very systematic and methodical uh way uh virgo energy a lot sometimes takes a little bit of the fun out of things i've noticed uh, a little bit i have um uh, i have my south node in virgo and uh virgo uh, in my in my fifth house of enjoyment as well so intercepted so you understand I'm getting that so i mean it really impacts uh, me a lot of take takes a lot of a lot out of my enjoyment i think and wanting to enjoy things sadly but virgo but anyway still even though it's in virgo it's still i mean there still can be some enjoyment connected with ninth house matters but being in virgo there seems like there's always a little bit of a work uh, more work involved with with this fun so to speak so anyway well as far as october goes uh venus will be in libra from the 14th to the 31st and the 10th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for capricorn and this could be a time where capricorn may strive for peaceful uh relationships and having good rapport with authority figures with government officials even even with the dominant parent which is generally the father uh people that are involved that figure prominently in their uh career and by putting on the the charm so to speak this could be very well possible at this time and money could be made in a career perhaps where maybe it has some connection with art with justice with the law something uh perhaps libra like it could even be like perhaps marriage counseling 
uh, doing something with mediation or arbitration. But this is a time when you have Venus and you have the 10th house emphasized where there could be perhaps, I think, a little bit more money than usual connected with the career. Because keep in mind, in your career, you're always, I mean, that the whole idea is you're making money. But when you have Venus in connected with that, uh, with that ha with that house of the career, I think to me that that looks like where you could be getting a little bit, maybe a little bit more than usual um, at this time. So there might be some unexpected raise, for example. So anyway, well, as far as um, October goes, well, Mars will be in Virgo from the 1st to the 22nd, and the ninth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Capricorn. So at this time, well, there could be a lot of energy and vitality perhaps being put into uh, matters connected with publishing, uh, maybe even the law, um, higher education, even with in-laws and grandchildren, but there might also be more acrimony connected with in-laws and grandchildren if applicable now. And that might be done with a lot of this Virgo-like complaining and criticizing and these angry critical outbursts that might uh, occur at this time. And also too, this is about a lot of nervous energy in this, in the matters that are connected with uh, the ninth house. It could be publishing or, or doing things connected with foreigners or doing long distance traveling. And it might be a lot of restless, nervous energy associated with this, trying to get this done. Oh, then I got to hurry up and do this. And a lot of more work, that Virgo industry and work involved in it. Well, anyway, also, um, as far as uh, October goes, Mars will be in Libra from the 22nd to the 31st, and the 10th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Capricorn. So this could indicate perhaps some contentious and acrimonious uh, experiences, perhaps, uh, with authority figures, uh, with the dominant parent, which is generally the father. It could be with people connected with the government, maybe people, um, maybe that, that affect the, the person's reputation, Perhaps uh, this could be um, a situation, given that this is Libra energy, that there might be some passive aggressive energy associated with this. There might be situations, as I stated before, that might be contentious with people that are associated with the 10th house, but it could be done in a more passive aggressive way, not through any uh, real strong uh, verbal uh, statements or, or things that are, um, you know, angry derogatory statements and in, in, in disputatious situations, but it could be like uh, you might request uh, something of somebody and then they they just ignore you or or vice versa or somebody or say you might have a, a, an, a supervisor or authority figure request something of you and they want you to go do something, but you may maybe you don't respond to it and that's your way of, of disputing what's being said. So anyway, also, um, Jupiter will be in Libra still uh, from the 1st to the 10th of October. And uh, this will be, uh, I mean, this could be a time, okay, you have the 10th house highlighted and emphasized for uh, Capricorn. And this could indicate some luck and fortune in matters pertaining to the career and the vocation and to getting notoriety and recognition. It could be by using that Libra ability to negotiate, to compromise, using strong tact and diplomacy and doing things maybe with somebody connected in a relationship with or just collaborative efforts, uh, doing things with others. So uh, there could be a lot of exuberance and enthusiasm associated with the career. And really, you, you might see at this time, too, that um, Jupiter... Uh, could also enlarge because it's paradoxical. I mean, Jupiter is very I mean, benign and benevolent planet, but could also enlarge. It could also give more matters to the career that needs to be attended to. Maybe maybe there's something more activities with the, the dominant parent, which is generally the father, authority figures, things related to the government. It could be legal issues with the government too that might be expanded given that we're talking about Libra. So anyway, well, as far as October goes, Jupiter will be in Scorpio from the 10th to the 31st, and the 11th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Capricorn. So this could be a lot of uh, perhaps some good luck and fortune by just 
showing uh, by showing inner courage and fortitude at this time uh, in matters connected with friends and acquaintances and even matters with their goals and aspirations. A lot of luck can be generated by showing that so strong Scorpio like willpower and resiliency in, in, in matters. If say if there's a setback connected with a goal and aspiration, this could be a very resilient period of bouncing back and also perhaps through transformation, perhaps matters with friends uh, with uh, with acquaintances, with aspirations and goals, and there could be a lot of exuberance and enthusiasm connected with the future as well for Capricorn at this time. And keep in mind, the 11th house is associated with Aquarius, so it could even be with a lot of uh, innovative um, things that are maybe even connected uh, with esoteric subjects. And and even and Jupiter being Scorpio, Ju Scorpio is about astrology, the occult, the supernatural, psychology. So it could be some expanded interest that is sh that that is, that maybe comes out through a goal, through an aspiration for Capricorn at this time. Now Saturn will still be in Sagittarius, so the twelfth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. Uh, for uh, Capricorn. So at this time, well, there might be a uh, Capricorn might be a little bit more introspective at this time and be more about solitude and seclusion. Uh, there might be something where maybe uh, it could be an older person that might be philosophical, might factor in strongly in this person's private life at this time. There might be more uh, responsibility to matters in private, such as, I mean, just, just things that are private in general. For Capra, it could be more uh, working laboriously in seclusion as well, uh, and, and perhaps doing it maybe with that Sagittarian like maybe enthusiasm or, or exuberance or, or what have you. And it could be. Uh, maybe doing things, working hard in matters connected with religion and philosophy and, and privacy and by and Capricorn being by themselves uh, when doing doing this. And also, um, it just really could be a time where we're really, like I stated before, it could be a very introspective period uh, for Capricorn. So anyway, um, and in some cases, this can be the loss of a, of, of a, uh, of a father because um, I mean I have this natally I have actually well I mean as far as by by as I'm saying uh, as far as the house position I have Saturn in the uh, in my 12th house in my natal chart and and I had a very and my, my father dissipated out of my life very quickly so you're talking Saturn in 12th house you know that it could be some limitation or restriction connected with the father or the father might figuratively be dissipating out of the person's life at this time so anyway well uranus will still be in aries at this time and the fourth house will be emphasized and highlighted for capricorn so this could indicate perhaps some uh, maybe some chaos or, or maybe there maybe the home and home life may be somewhat erratic and sporadic at this time. It could also indicate sometimes some electrical issues in the homes or difficulties. Maybe um, maybe maybe there's some problems with electricity or it's a time where I mean Uranus energy is about innovation and you have and you have Aries being a, a sign that's very pioneering well it could be about making put, get, putting things in the home that are very innovative and new as well and could also be in some cases this could be an unpredicted or unanticipated arrival of some uh, new family member at this time uh, as well and it really it just could show that this could be a very unpredictable time in matters pertaining to the home and the family and you might discover something unusual pertaining to roots and tradition at this time uh, as well so and it could be too that you might feel closer at home so to speak to people that are innovators that are into esoteric subjects people that are involved strongly with computers and electronics at this time as well now neptune will still be in pisces so the third house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for capricorn 
And this could be, I mean, keep in mind too that Neptune will be retrograde. In some cases, this could this could uh, suggest, if applicable, a uh, sibling or a neighbor that may have done drugs previously or and or alcohol, as I'm saying recreational drugs and or alcohol, may revert back to it at this time. And also too, I mean, Neptune in your time of the third house, that communications might be a little bit more nebulous at this time than usual. They might be a little bit more confusing. And you might see uh, brother uh, siblings and, and neighbors, if, if, I mean, if you have siblings and, neighbor, and or neighbors, that they may appear a little bit unclear or nebulous at this particular time. And you might find some communications you're involved with as well. And they might be and they might it really there's more of a chance toward deception in matters of communication just be more careful capricorn and very prudent and assiduous regarding what documents you're signing and make sure you read all the fine print at this time because there's more a little more susceptibility with this than than many other uh when we we're talking about any other planets and, and houses that there's more susceptibility to being a little bit more gullible and and, and really not seeing the, the fine print and things and being more susceptible to con men and people that are bamboozlers. So anyway, while Pluto will still be in Capricorn at this time and the first house is what will be uh, highlighted and emphasized for Capricorn. So in some cases it, it can indicate some kind of surgery uh, maybe associated with the bones or, or or the knees in some cases it doesn't mean that it would be on that be, but but i think even though it's a generational planet the fact you're talking about capricorn it could be something capricorn related but it doesn't mean it couldn't relate to something else on the body and it could be just some physical transformation it could be through working out vigorously and being very consistent in doing so this could also be a time where uh, a death may impact uh, Capricorn very strongly in how they appear to others and maybe their outlook. So especially especially if it's Capricorn rising and, and you have that you actually have the transit in the first house at this time. And of course even more intensely if Pluto is making a conjunction to the natal ascendant. So uh, and really th this could be a time too where I mean we're, we're in, in some isolated cases where their appearance, I mean, of Capricorn might be torn down, so to speak. But at the same time, when one, when something comes to an end and Pluto's involved, often it could be a rebirth and it could be a different, you know, Capricorn going into some different appearance at this time because of that. So anyway, well, the North Node will still be in Leo. And of course, the eighth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for uh, Capricorn. So this could be about taking pride and dignity in matters connected with inheritances, uh, with wills, and showing if you have some authority over this to make sure you let people know um, about this. If there's any control that you have, that it's time to, to do so and use that uh, and, and use that ability. Also, this is about, uh, I mean, the eighth house could also be um, about, I mean, in some isolated cases, it can be about death as well. And, and really in doing, and, and maybe dealing so with a lot of Leo courage and fortitude at this time in dealing with, I mean, also eighth house issues can be, it could be over uh, shared resources and, and North Node and, and it really can be about issues you have to confront. So there can be some issues associated uh, with with things connected with shared or others resources and perhaps even maybe some unnecessary extravagance that is Leo extravagance that might be associated with it that needs to be addressed. So anyway, well, the black moon Lilith will still be in Sagittarius at this time. And of course, the 12th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Capricorn. So there can be some in, in some cases. Um, this could be an unveiling of some restriction or some limitation that Capricorn has. It could be something um, Sagittarius related. It could be about some kind of uh, something connected with higher learning 
or maybe a Sagittarius, even something Sagittarius like body part, for example. It could be you know something with the thighs, for example. It could also be something with the philosophical outlook that maybe some people might see as warped, or they don't quite they don't quite agree with or understand. But it comes out when maybe Capricorn necessarily didn't necessarily want it to uh, come out. And it could also be that somebody that maybe that that's nefarious that that was a hidden enemy comes out and it could be somebody that could be some someone that might be so, uh, maybe has a dark side to them or something nefarious and it might be tied into their maybe their religious or philosophical uh, belief and it could be somebody maybe that may, might embody some Sagittarius like uh, characteristic someone that comes across maybe as expansive exuberant optimistic somebody that's into exploration um, that might be adventurous so on and so forth or so anyway well last but not least Chiron will still be in Pisces and the third house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Capricorn and this could be a time where there might be some emotional wounds Capricorn may deal with associated with communications it could be ones that are maybe from others that are deceptive and, and duplicitous where people are, are really maybe they're being two-faced with what they're saying it could be and in some isolated cases it can be something associated with drugs or alcohol with maybe siblings or, or maybe neighbors in, in some cases um, you look at the um, the third house as well and I mean the third house is also about about short journeys and it could be too that at this time maybe there's some distress connected with with, with dealing with um, with taking short journeys or there's some confusion there's some Pisces maybe confusion involved in this as well but at the same time remember that uh, Chiron is the wounded healer so it can be a time where maybe uh, Capricorn is really more adept than usual at maybe healing and helping others that are having issues with things that are related to their communication. Uh, even younger people that maybe are still in high school, that are still in school, like pre, uh, uh, what I'm saying is that whether it be great, they're in their early education somehow, and if they're having issues or, or difficulties uh, learning maybe uh, Pisces uh, maybe Capricorn can help them with these issues with that uh, Pisces compassion and empathy so anyway people that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for my Capricorn October 2017 horoscope forecast stay tuned next time where I'll be giving you my Aquarius October 2017 horoscope forecast two things I want to get with you on before I head out firstly the stars may impel but do not compel and secondly never isolate any single astrological element aspect planetary placement position configuration influence or what have you and make an analysis of a person astrologically speaking based on this alone because astrologically speaking the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one until next time, people, stay well.